Take one. All right. Welcome, Hello. Josh Bingham, Julian Thompson, and myself, Charles Oppenheimer. Uh, we are talking about our journey of using NFTs for artists. And it so happened, uh, besides being old friends, that we were talking about like NFTs and using new crypto digital art for buying Julian's art because he's an artist, he produced paintings, he produced physical art, and the three of us got in a discussion. Could we use NFTs to buy physical art? And there's one other thing that came out of it that we'll spend most of our time talking about here is NFTs are arguably needed to buy art, but you could use them to buy art. But there's one really cool part that Julian will go into is if you do use an NFT to sell art, it has royalties and ongoing ownership of the artist built into it. Um, and that is probably the coolest thing about it, that as an artist, you can sell it, and if somebody resells it, you can get a piece very appealing to artists. And there's one other thing that we may have discovered, or anyway, Julian took this in a really cool direction, is using an NFT for a video game, a digital game that you own. You only own one version of that game. But with, with the fact that an NFT to log into a game, it is truly providing like this value, you only have a unique game if you have this NFT and unlike a JPEG, you can only run the game if you have that NFT. And so that's why we think it's so cool. And um, that that's why we ended up sticking with that. On top of that, we're having this awesome party and art show in Santa Fe. That's always worth doing anyway, but. Uh, <laughs> well, I think the process of when you are creating like the NPG non-player game is its own entity, its own thing. But when you're creating the NFT that you know, unlocks it, you know, you found some great tools and, uh, and, in, and the creation of the NFT, you were able to just intuitively go through and say, I'm creating a smart contract in here. And, you know, you will always be known as the artist that created it. Um, there's a perpetual like royalty of any subsequent sales, aftermarket sales. And then, you know, whoever buys this will then have a clear, I mean, effectively like a title to a car yeah. Yeah. Um, to prove their ownership of this, um, of this art. So this is an NPG. It, it works like a video game in the sense that uh, this is not animated. I did not say bird go from point A to point B. I'm saying you have the capacity to fly. Now go Where somewhere. Go. Yeah, or cool. there, there are mice and there are squirrels and there are fish and there are other things. And so they detect the terrain around them and they then navigate. They go where they, wherever it is they want to go. The squirrel, go, there's a mouse going up, the, going up and he jumps up and down the little cliffs and uh, he goes on his little life. Yeah, one of the things I just love about the whole concept of the NPG is, you know, you, you see a, a, a painting or and it's a still life, but you know, like that was a snapshot of reality potentially or some world that whether, whether it was purely from imagination or it was something in front of the artist. Mm -hmm. And this is like, you could take a snapshot from here in the same way, but you also get to see what that world really is. Um, yeah. And, what it and, does, what the computer, it, um, yeah. this seems like something that we ran into NFT crypto stuff sitting right there. You as a programmer were able to plug the two of them together. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so this would be the actual contract in itself. Uh, I have apparently one contract and now I have the tokens themselves, which are the actual NFTs that would be sold. And uh, so this is the one that I minted before, the first one that I minted. So uh, when you launch it, it would look like this, uh, and you have to verify your ownership. You can't continue. You can quit, but you can't continue yet. By connecting, and then I sign the token, and it says you got the thing. Okay. And then if we go back here, continue has been activated. Yeah. You can save your verification, and you can then delete it if you don't want to keep it. That way it just saves for 30 days. And then when you hit continue, it You're loads. Playing the game. 
And that should only cost you, Art Patron, like, I don't know, 50 to $60 million, similar to Beeple. Uh, you too could buy this. this, uh, this <laughs> you too can own this. <laughs> well, or no, we, not, not you too. Too. Not you only, too. Only one person. Just you. Not you uh, <laughs> Just you. you until more of the series. You have 6.22 out, then 7.22, you know, yeah. there, there's more to come.